fans, we're very excited today. We're in beautiful Riding Mountain National Park in beautiful Manitoba, little northern Manitoba, and where I'm just getting the campfire ready to get going because today we have got the 2022 Unity FX. If you're looking for a small motorhome, 25 feet, one inch in length, 10 feet, seven inches high, seven feet, 10 inches wide, small, maneuverable, can go anywhere in the US and Canada, federal, national, park, state parks, absolutely anywhere. Fantastic fuel economy. And with this motorhome, you have a beautiful pull down Murphy bed and a second living area in the back. Come on inside. Let's have a look at this beautiful motorhome. And I actually absolutely love this feature. We've got a place to put our jacket as we're coming inside. Hey, welcome inside the 2022 Unity FX. This is very exciting. We call it the FX or the Flex because it's expandable. Everything has lots of room and expandability. You even have a place to put your shoes. I really like this little feature right here. Hey, let's talk about the colors in this motorhome. This is a brand new color for 2022. This is Natural Rift. We also do Cashmere, Vancouver Maple. Plus we have three different leather colors, Fog, we also do earth and mountain and two different countertops. This is Antarctica white. We also do concrete. And then up here, we have a nice little option where you can get white upper cabinets on the curved cabinet doors. I think you're gonna love the flexibility of this living room area, bedroom area, dining room area. Let's talk about entertainment purposes. I mean, look how comfortable I am. I've actually got uh, ottoman that I can pull out here, which I'm gonna show you in a second. I can set up the arm to kick back and relax. I've got USB charging ports here. I've got inverted plugs on this side. And there's a second USB plug on the other side as well. I also have my TV right there. I also have my sound bar and that's a streaming Bluetooth as well. And up above here, I've got my smart Blu-ray player. So if you wanna do Netflix, things like that, it's a smart Blu-ray player. I have a TV switcher box here so I can watch uh, DVD here. I can watch a movie back there, TV back there, live TV up here. You you can order the optional satellite dish, the T4 wine guard, and you can do dish direct or bell, and the receiver dish sits up there. So you've got just a real comfortable area, and it feels very, very spacious. You can see how much room I have. Plus, this area goes from an entertainment area to perhaps a office desk to at nighttime a beautiful Murphy bed. Okay, so now let's make it into a chaise lounge. Look at that. Work on my computer, USB plug charging. Very nice. Okay, from a lounging area, let's say we want to have something to eat. Let me show you how simple that is. Dinner. This side comes out as well. So dinner for two or dinner for four. So now from a dining room area, how about into a bed area? So once again, very simple to do. Once again, this comes out. This also serves as a, as a bed support. Then we're gonna put our center cushion back in. So now we're locked in place and you can see how simple this is. Just gonna lock into a nice big bed. And when we mean big bed, 69 inches wide, 76 inches long. Look at this. <laughs> wow, this is a big, big bed. It's almost king size bed but this is big. So definitely a huge bed for two. And I actually love this. Look at this built-in headdress. We've got the awning style windows. You can see they're open. I've got nighttime shade. I've also got built-in reading lights if I wanna work in bed, read in bed, or I wanna watch TV in bed. Absolutely fantastic. And you just have so much room. Look at this, I'm way over here now, look. Superior room, this is what the FX is all about. And the other great feature on the FX, this is a walk around bed. What? Yes, you can actually get out of the bed, either side, and you can walk around if you wanted to get something out of the fridge, or if you needed to go to the bathroom. Look at this, full walk around bed. If you wanna get something out of the fridge, you can see that the fridge opens both ways, and you can go back into the bed without disturbing your partner, look at this absolutely amazing okay so nap time's over we got more stuff to show you but you're gonna love this you can leave your bedding on here this flips up look at this as long as you don't go any higher than this right so you can leave your pillows on there okay just strap the mattress in place leave your pillows but you're gonna absolutely love this this is amazing look at this 
Make sure your partner's not in there, but that is fast and simple and easy. Some other really cool features, you can use this as a day bed. So let's just say you wanna have a nap, you don't wanna pull the bed down. Look at this, I got a nice little day bed area. Absolutely cool. And I also have a chaise lounge, look at this. Put this cushion back up into here. I got a chaise lounge for just kicking back and chilling in the great outdoors. Okay, so easily from a bed area back into a living room area, you'll see how simple it is to do. Put our cushions back in place. I got two chaise lounges for kicking back and relaxing. Lock those back out of the way. Cushions slide under, underneath here. Same with this side. And we're back into a living room area. You can see how fast and simple that is. So living room area, dining room area, bedroom area, just like that. Hey, let's talk about storage. Look at this. Up above here, optional safe. Right in here is all of our warranty information that comes in the leisure pouch. Very nice. That all sits up in there. We also have our curtain that goes around the front window for privacy at night. So nice big storage area, storage here. Nice little option is solar panels. We went to, for 2022, we went to rigid solar panels. So 200 watts or 400 watts, the controller's right there. We talked about the TV. I forgot to mention this about the TV. This is very cool, look at this. It actually comes out and turns and swivels. So if you're cooking at the galley, why not? See, it locks back in place. Very nice, we talked about this. Up here we've got inverted plugs for our smart Blu-ray player. Satellite dish receiver would go in here as well. Switcher box. We have some coax connections up here as well. And then up here we also have, up on the roof, our WineGuard 2.0 Wi-Fi booster with 4G capability. It also does a TV antenna as well. So that's very nice. If you're into the uh, internet and you wanna be your walking hotspot, you can subscribe to WineGuard and pay for the service and you're your own personal hotspot with 4G as well. And you're gonna absolutely love this. This is a beautiful hanging closet. Look at that. Nice, big hanging closet for all of your clothes. We actually have two hanging closets in the FX. Hard to believe in this small of a motorhome. Once again, we're 25 feet, one inch. The actual house, house part, not including the chassis, 19 feet. So there's a lot of stuff in this small motorhome, but it's absolutely incredible. So once again, a little more storage area in behind the TV area. RV house batteries down below. I like this too. This comes down for privacy at night. Very smart. And then up above here, we got our inside service center. Let me show you how all this works. Okay, first things first, we have our optional four point hydraulic jacks right there. Nice little option to have. So you just press the button, automatically levels the coach. Now this is kind of a neat little feature right here. See this little light comes on here. This motorhome has the optional lithium battery. So lithium batteries don't like the cold. So we actually heat our lithium battery so that when it gets cold out, you want to turn that on and that'll allow the lithium battery to take a charge and to give a charge. So nice little option to have. And when you order the optional lithium batteries, we actually also invert the microwave. So you can run the microwave off the lithium battery batteries, you don't have to start your generator. Right here is our switch for our slide out mechanism. You always wanna make sure you're looking at the slide out when it's going in and out. Right next to that is our Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus hot water heater. So Comfort Plus means that it heats the one liter hot water all the time. When it's on eco, it doesn't heat it. Next, you can see that fresh water is empty, gray is empty, black is empty, and our propane tank has 36% full. So it's percentage to 100 or percentage to zero. Next is our water pump. So we can turn on our water pump right there. And when you order the optional 3.6, six kilowatt propane generator, you get auto gen start. This is the control center. So this can run the uh, generator. If you wanted to set the uh, air conditioning in the motorhome and you wanted to come on at a certain level, you have pets in the motorhome, gets too hot in the motorhome, generator comes on, air conditioner comes on, cools the motorhome, very nice. Uh, you can set it for batteries. If your batteries are getting low, it will automatically come on and recharge the batteries. You can also set it by time. Certain campgrounds, you can't have your generator running until after 10 a.m. and before 8 p.m. You can set it by time as well. So nice little feature that comes standard when you order the optional propane generator. So standard on all Unity motorhomes is our 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. That's very important that it's pure sine wave. So when it takes the house batteries, flips them over to 120 power, it's clean power. It's not gonna damage any of your electronics, charging of your phones, smartphones, things like that. One of the fantastic things about the FX is just how much space and room you have with the Mercedes Benz chairs turning and swiveling over. And I really like this. If you have a long inseam, this is fabulous and comfortable. Plus all the Mercedes Benz have heated power seats now oh so nice great option the optional table up front here look at this simple to do 
you need a workstation, if you're gonna do a little work on the road or you just wanna sit back another sitting area, relaxing area. I mean, you can bring this out again, right? And put your feet up on it. It's absolutely fantastic working. You can watch TV. I mean, it's just so functional. If you have four people over, you can actually watch a movie for four people. And even if somebody was still sleeping in bed in the morning and you didn't wanna to go to the back area, you wanted to sit up here and look at that beautiful panoramic view out of the windshield. You can just sit back here and relax and have coffee. It's just absolutely fantastic and comfortable. Hey, let's talk about the ceiling. Oh yeah, vacuum bonded, fiberglass flex roof, absolutely fantastic. Almost five inches thick in the center goer, so you know it's fully insulated. And let's talk about this beautiful skylight. Look at this, emergency escape perhaps. Yeah, I still got it. Hey, look at that. Open it all the way up, lots of fresh air. Hey, got a few bugs. Why not? Privacy, why not? Perhaps half and half, why not? So lots of features, built-in LED lights, smoke detector, ducted air conditioning through the entire roof, 15,000 BTU air conditioner. If you're plugged into shore power like we are right now, and it's gonna get cold tonight, which it is, we're gonna turn on the old heat pump, keep us nice and warm, and we save our propane fuel. And on all Unity models, we have two fantastic fans in our modem, one in the galley, and one in the bathroom lavatory area. And that moves a lot of air. It runs on 12 volt power. Absolutely fantastic for our dry campers. Okay, let's talk about the galley area. Nice big galley area in the FX. Beautiful picture frame window. And look at this, built in daytime shades. Look at this, and they lock in place there. You can have the windows open, a little fresh air coming through that's not gonna move around, I like that. Also, nighttime shades as well. Very, very smart. Awning style windows, which we always talk about. I love that feature. You can, if it's raining outside, you can still have some air coming in. Up above here, we've got our beautiful cabinets. Nice deep cabinet, full plate fits in here. Got places here for cups. Look at these cabinets, beautiful curves. See how the doors are curved? European hidden hinges, soft close. Look at this. Oh, I like that sound. Also new for 2022, we have a new accessory channel here. So you have a place here for salt and pepper and cleaning supplies and paper towel holder. I really like that. Chrome faucet, deep stainless steel sink. And we have our solid Corian countertops, two different colors, Antarctica white or concrete. We have our two burner spark ignition stove, built in backsplash. Just simply fire it right up. Like you can see it's running super hot. So make sure that the burners are off before you close the glass countertop. So nice big storage area, stainless steel backsplash, very nice. And then drawers, look at this. Pot and pan drawer, nice big pot and pan drawer. Nice drawer there, another drawer here. Built-in water filtration on all Unity models, so all the water, drinking water is filtered. And then right here, we got a place here for your uh, scrubby brushes and uh, pan washers right there. But look at this, all done with soft clothes as well. Also more storage underneath the sink area, easy access to our Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus water heater, and easy access to our water pump. That's very, very smart. So nice little storage area underneath there. And of course our beautiful pull-out pantry, the old Jenny Craig diet of no food, but I keep gaining weight, I can't figure that one out. Great storage area up here as well. And this locks in place nicely. When you're driving down the road, you're not gonna hear that move at all. We also have our convection microwave on this side. So it's a traditional microwave and it's also a convection oven as well. Over here, we've got our three-way fridge. So very important, we have a three-way fridge. So it runs on propane, it runs on 120 volt and on 12 volt. And some very cool features on this fridge, it's a dual door fridge. So it opens, separate freezer, separate fridge. It's about 6.7 cubic feet. And I love this feature because in the FX where I have the second living area look I have easy access to the fridge and freezer I don't have to come all the way around the motorhome to open the fridge we talked earlier about a hanging closet in the front look at this second hanging closet absolutely fantastic and look at this full drawer extension glides look at this nice storage area once again soft clothes and a nice little storage area underneath here and then as we work our way back look at this a second living area unbelievable most motorhomes that are 24 feet 19 feet 16 feet 30 feet only have one living area the fx has two 
living areas. You know, it makes a great office area. It makes a great entertainment area. You've got the beautiful picture window. You have the daytime shades, nighttime shades, but look at the storage space. Look at the beautiful lights, upper cabinet lights. Absolutely fantastic. But look at all this storage space up above. Look at this up here, more storage. Actually storage in here, charging your phone. You got USB charging points. You also have, you can dim your lights in here. You can turn the lights off and on. Second TV over there, another inverted plug up front. So once again, this could be a full office area. And you know what? I even have a pop-up office desk. You're gonna absolutely love this. Look at this. Look at that. Yes, I do. I have my own portable office area in the back or second eating area. It also even has a second cushion underneath here and it makes into an ottoman. Oh yes, this is so great. You can slide the ottoman all the way up front too if you wanna use the ottoman up front or you can use the ottoman in the back area here. So computer desk, eating table and or an ottoman. Now that is some smart design work. Okay, so you slide your cushion back in. Look at this, tabletop slides back down. Make sure you keep this little tab on the outside. And look at this, we're just gonna lock this in place. And look at that, beautiful little office area relaxing area. I mean, this is just a great area. You can also use this as a day bed as well. So, I mean, you've got a lot, a lot of features in this back area of the FX. It's absolutely fantastic and it feels so spacious. And everybody's very excited about our new bathroom door on our expandable bathroom. But first, look at this full-size dressing mirror. You can see we got the Leisure Travel Van logo stuff. Check out our Leisure store. It's absolutely fantastic. www.leisurevans.com. Get some leisure gear. You're going to absolutely love this new bathroom design. It's an expandable bathroom. Look at this. This comes across and look, it locks into place like this latches in on the inside and look now we've created a bigger bathroom in the fx come on into the three-piece dry bathroom look how much room i have beautiful stand-up shower once again i'm well over six foot one probably six two with my shoes on but look i don't even can't even touch the top it's got to be six five to the top for sure nice big shower area bathroom door it's got a squeegee designed into it so all the water drips back into the shower pan that's super smart got a place here you want to dry your bathing suits or your towels or clothes you can drip dry we've got our beautiful shower head it's all recessed in here we've got a little diverter on here you can slow the water flow and uh, put your soaps shampoos all in here it's all integrated into the shower so it gives me a lot more room handle for getting in and out led light another place here for towels so three-piece bathroom kind of a traditional bathroom so you have a separate shower you have a separate sink and a separate toilet. And look at this nice little area underneath here. Full water filtration on the FX, very smart. Another mirror here for dressing. And then up here we have a beautiful medicine cabinet for all your toiletries, very smart. Place here to hang your towels. And we have a beautiful china toilet right here. This will clean the uh, toilet, it's not a bidet. Some people try it as a bidet and it can be used as a bidet, but the water's a little chilly. Woo. So uh, right here we got our water switch, we're turning on our water pump. And then here we've got our 120 GFI receptacle, but you've got lots of room in the bathroom area. I love the stainless steel sink. You can see we have another accessory channel here, chrome faucet. Also in the bathroom in the FX, we've got a fantastic fan. You can see that, opens up, once again, runs 12 volt, moves a lot of air, massive amount of air. Look at that beautiful LED lights in the bathroom. Now that is a dry bathroom. You don't get that in too many small motorhomes, but you do in the FX. So living area, office area, entertainment area, living room area up front, dining room, entertainment area, full size, almost king size Murphy bed. Great for sleeping for two. Nice big galley area, lots of interior storage. I mean, it's got everything you could possibly want. And you can see how easy it is to transition from the house or the living room area into the cab area. Nice level floor, and you can see my chairs both turn and swivel, and boom, I'm in the cockpit of the Mercedes Benz 3500 series cutaway chassis. 
Okay, the Unity's always been powered by the Mercedes-Benz chassis. They upgraded their chassis a few years ago. We just want to talk about some of the really cool features. So standard is our V6 engine, three liter, 188 horsepower, 325 foot-pounds of torque. She rolls down the highway, seven-speed automatic transmission, 170-inch wheelbase, so it is fun to drive. Electric power steering is one of the new features that they have. If you have never driven electric power steering, it's absolutely fantastic. Keyless start right here, runs right off the... Uh, fob here 10.25 inch monitor basically it's just like an ipad you can run the entire system you also have a voice communications for uh, navigation as well hey mercedes how can i help absolutely fantastic we're good thank you very much so uh serious radio now available as a subscription am fm of course we have air conditioning power windows power mirrors one of the new features is we have power seats and they're heated as well. New climate control system, which is quite nice. And the really big one, of course, is the adaptive cruise control. A couple safety features that they've added, which are up in here, that triangle, we talked about that. You got front collision impact assist, lane keeping assist, traffic sign assist, braking assist, and they have side wind stabilization. So lots of great safety features on the Mercedes-Benz chassis. On the MBUX from Mercedes-Benz, we've got Apple CarPlay. Android Auto, streaming Bluetooth, and of course we can easily hook up our cell phones to it as well. On the navigation system, which you can voice command or you can manually enter your location, you get free upgrades on the navigation system for three years from Mercedes-Benz. Some other really cool features, lots of USB charging ports, plus you can also charge your phone right here. We also have great storage area above, little cubby holes all throughout, and lots of drink holders. They've got drink holders everywhere in the doors. We've got four up front. Got lights up here for your map lights. Just lots of great area, and it's big. Like, it feels really big. It's easy for me. I'm six foot one. Look at this. Easily stand up. I don't crush my head, and I can walk to the back of the motorhome. So let's talk about the steering wheel. A nice, beautiful leather wrap. we got tilt steering, telescopic steering, just depending on how tall you are. By the way, I have a 34-inch inseam. I can... Uh, I have to move the seat forward to get to the accelerator and the brake. That's how much room you have. So if you're tall, you're going to absolutely love the Mercedes-Benz. So on the steering wheel controls, the left side controls everything here on the dash. The right side controls everything here on the right side of the motorhome. A couple other additional safety features. We have front airbags here, here, and also in the seats as well. Also, when you buy a leisure travel van, we give you two years of roadside assistance, which uh, for emergency fuel, lockout service, you also have a concierge service if you need service or repairs anywhere in Canada and the United States. And please make sure if you have a leisure travel van on order, or you have one, is to join my LTV. It's absolutely fantastic. We have walkthrough videos virtually on everything in the motorhome, so you can see all the different things on how to run your leisure travel van. Plus, we have different photo contests throughout the year and you can join a travelers club and you can get together with other leisure travel van customers. So make sure you join my LTV. Okay, now that is one incredible interior. Big Murphy bed, two TVs, second living area, private bathroom. If you love the interior, I can't wait to show you the exterior. Of course, powered by the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter cutaway chassis. A couple little features here. Mirrors move in, so we're about seven feet, 10 inches in total width. So you, if you can get into a tight spot, you can slide the mirrors in, give you lots of room. You can see our chassis is integrated into our body, our beautiful curved walls. On any small motorhome, storage is very important and we have quite a bit of exterior storage as well as interior storage. But let's have a look at this storage area here. So all of our storage bins are galvanized sheet metal, they're spray foamed underneath, they're lined, the doors are all fiberglass, you can see how it's curved, and we have a great locking system with our own leisure travel van lock, we call it our switchblade lock, and you can lock the door, there we go, completely locked, you can see how it seals up real nice. Some other really cool features, we have a nice little pot light for when you get in and out of the motorhome, and we have our power awning, and we have our LED lights as you can see here that are built right into the awning, which is great at nighttime, and you just press the button and out the awning goes. And the awning's going to come out about 12 feet in length this way and 7 feet this way. Gives us lots of great shade underneath the FX. You can see how big this awning is. And if it's super windy out, never put your awning out. But if it's just a little bit of wind, it's fine. It also has a great safety feature called a wind sensor. So if there's a big gust of wind, 
it'll automatically go back in. Once again, if it's super windy out, leave the awning in. We don't want to lose an awning over high wind conditions, but the wind sensor feature on the awning is a great way to protect the awning in case of a gust of wind, automatically goes back in. Okay, as we work our way down, we've got our entry step for getting in and out of the motorhome. It's on camp mode right now. If I turn it off of camp mode, the step automatically goes up. Nice thing about having it on cam mode when you're opening and closing the door, step's not going in and out all the time. Don't panic if you happen to leave the step in the out mode and you start up the ignition, it will automatically go back up. I also love our screen door here. This is a nice little feature to have. If you have pets, you don't have to worry about the pets going through the screen as we got the braces throughout the door, it gives it some additional strength. And then underneath here, we've got our AGM batteries, which are standard. We have a nice option called lithium batteries where you can get two 100 amp lithium batteries and they also slide underneath here as well so easy access to your batteries another great little option is keyless entry so i can actually lock the motorhome it works off of the mercedes-benz fob so i can lock the doors and i can also unlock the doors right off the Mercedes-Benz key fob. Nice little option to have. Two other nice features, we have two LED lights. So LED light there, campsite, and also an LED light in the handle. And of course we got our awning LED light. So lots of light when it gets dark at night, nice to get in and out of the motorhome. You can see what you're doing. And let's talk about some more storage area. Look at this. This is called an EPDM rubber hinge seal. You can see how the door beautifully comes up. We got the strut on it, so it's not gonna fall and hit you on the back of the head. That's really important. Over here, we've got our 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter that's standard on all unity models and that's a great feature to have because a pure sine wave inverter gives you clean power and with all of our electronics that we have now they don't like dirty power so make sure you have a pure sine wave inverter like we have 2000 watt on all unity models as you can see on the fx we have picture window in the back and a picture window in the galley area and of course sexy frameless glass windows awning style and awning style means I can open up the window I have a built-in screen in behind here if it's a beautiful hot day and it's pouring rain outside you can still have the windows open and have fresh air coming into the motorhome that's very important to have so we're going to talk a little bit about construction we never talk about construction enough because nobody builds a motorhome like leisure travel vans does we've got vacuum bonded walls roof and floor floor is boxed steel frame the reason we use box steel it's like an egg on its end it'll never crack it's welded and it's vacuum bonded fully insulated so you have a one-piece floor walls are boxed aluminum welded with two pound density polystyrene insulation vetrolite exterior fiberglass skin and that's also vacuum bonded up on that roof same thing vacuum bonded roof boxed aluminum framing throughout almost five inches thick in the center core we also have duct air conditioning and a fiberglass flex roof on there that'll expand and contract with heat and cold and to top it all off I mean it's super strong let's start with that but to top it all off full body paint this is all paint each color painted three times that would be a total of six layers of paint on the dark side here and then two coats of clear which gives it that beautiful shiny look and for 2022 we have eight different exterior colors this is glacier we also have a new color called Atlantic Blue, a new color called Shadow. We have White Suede, Champagne. We have Silver, Graphite, and Eurosport. That's eight different exterior colors. We should have a color that you're gonna absolutely love on your brand new leisure travel van. As we work our way down, we have a Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus hot water heater. This is the best hot water heater in the industry. The reason for that is it's got a one liter hot water tank. When you have it on Comfort Plus, it continuously heats this one liter hot water you turn on the tap in the sink the bathroom shower or the bathroom sink the hot water it'll automatically start using that one liter and then the, gives it time for the heat exchangers to get super hot and you have consistent unlimited hot water and it's on all leisure travel van motorhomes as we work our way down we have our standard 16,000 BTU furnace so we have two ways to heat the motorhome 16,000 BTU furnace here and also we have a built-in heat pump in our 15,000 BTU air conditioner so two different Different ways to keep the motorhome nice and warm on a cool day you're gonna love this option our optional exterior table it just sits right underneath here and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to set up we call it kind of our suitcase optional table 
It's pretty simple, just comes across. It's all done in aluminum, it's powder coated, so it's gonna last forever. You can see how simply it just locks in place. And you're gonna love the adjustable legs. You can see that I can adjust the legs to whatever area my campground area is. And it becomes a great workstation. If I'm preparing some from food, I can uh, hook up an electric grill here. You can also use it obviously for eating. Or if you have a barbecue, we have a quick connect barbecue over on this side and I can just plug in right here and I can then have my barbecue here and I can cook right here and then after dinner put everything away and have a great dinner in the great outdoors. Okay, as so we work our way down, this is where we keep our optional generator. So you have two choices here. You can go with the 3.6 LP generator or the 3.2 kilowatt diesel generator. Autogen start comes standard when you order the optional 3.6 kilowatt propane generator. Okay, a little more storage area down here. So open that up and look at that. Nice storage area under here. Once again, you know, all spray foamed underneath. We talked about the propane quick connect right there for the barbecue. It's all lined. Galvanized sheet metal, the reason we use galvanized sheet metal, won't crack, won't get cold, uh, lasts forever, super strong. So we love galvanized sheet metal. If you have fiberglass in there or plastic, good chance that it's gonna crack in cold weather, but galvanized sheet metal, never and a little more storage underneath here we got our nice storage area built in here look at this nice storage area put a couple sets of golf clubs in there some uh, carry bags no problem whatsoever and nice big storage area and then looking up here you can see our other beautiful frameless glass window awning style okay as we work our way behind the motorhome beautiful molded fiberglass rear mass two-piece so if somebody smashes the rear bumper here you can just replace this part and then fully insulated you can see how it's beautifully molded this is called molded fiberglass once again fully insulated and LED light, marker lights at the top, and then you can see our backup camera. Integrated backup camera runs off the 10.25 inch monitor on the MBUX Mercedes-Benz system up front on the chassis. Down below here, we've got our 5,000 pound receiver hitch and our seven pin connector for towing. So remember, you always wanna check the owner's manual for how much you can tow inside the motorhome. The GCWR on the Mercedes-Benz chassis is 15,250 pounds. The GVWR on the chassis is 11,030 pounds. So if you were to load the chassis up to 11,030 pounds, you would only be able to tow 4,220 pounds. So always check the owner's manual and weigh the unit and that way you'll know how much you can tow. Okay, on the driver's side, we're gonna have a look at the service center. I love the service area on the outside here. Everything is in one spot. You don't have to go all over the motorhome. Everything is right here. So we're gonna talk about dumping the tanks, everybody's favorite topic. So when you dump your tanks, you always pull the black valve first, then the gray valve. That because the black valve dumps first, gray valve then kind of washes that out. So this is a great little feature to have when you want to clean your black water tank. So when you want to clean the black water tank, you want to make sure that your macerator pump or your three inch blue hose is plugged into that sewer line. You want to make sure the black valve is open and then you hook up your hose and pour water through there and then the water goes up all, all the way through, cleans out your black water tank. Some people clean their black water tank once or twice a year. This motorhome has the optional macerator pump. So what that does is everything's already connected. I don't have to hook anything up. I've got a sewer line right here so I can actually dump the tanks right here. So simply, you would open this up. I could put this in here or I could use the adapter that comes with it and plug it in here. So you turn on your pump, open up the black, and then once it's been dumping for a while, then you pull the gray and that washes out the hose. So that's how you dump your tanks. I don't know if we've ever been able to show that before, but it's not that hard, simple to do. Standard always comes with the three inch dump hose. So the macerator pump option is a great little option to have if you uh, have to pump uphill and it's uh, easy and it's simple to use. So great little option to have. Right here's where our propane fill. So we wanna fill up our 15 gallon propane tank. That could go, you go to a propane fill station, they're gonna fill it up. And right here is the propane disconnect. So you always turn the propane off when you're filling or if you're going on a ferry or underneath uh, certain tunnels, you have to have your propane off, but very simple to do. Just press that button that turns it off. Over here, we've got our satellite uh, feed. So we're pre-wired on the roof for a satellite dish. We're also pre-wired for a portable satellite dish. We have a great option for a satellite dish called the WineGuard T4, which does dish, direct, and bell. 
And over here we've got our cable connection. So some campgrounds have cable. I would just plug in there and then I'd have cable inside on my two TVs that the FX has. As we work our way down, we've got our water pump. So right here is our turning on our water pump. So if, if, you, if you're dry camping and you wanna use the water that's in your tank, you can turn on the water pump right here and then you could use your exterior shower. So we have a brand new exterior shower here. It has a little quick connect, so it's pretty simple to do. You just pull this back and it locks in place and I've got hot and cold shower. So if you have little pets, you've been down at the beach and you wanna wash their feet off or if you wanna have a shower outside, why not? Uh, some people that do a lot of fishing, they will clean the fish outside. So nice little uh, standard feature is the outside shower. So when you wanna fill up your water, so here's our water source, right? So if I wanna fill up my water, I'd hook up my water hose. You wanna get a drinking water hose. So you'd run your water hose, your drinking water hose up into here. And then if you wanna fill up in your water tank, you would open the, turn it this way. That would fill up the water tank inside the motorhome. Or if you're hooked up now, which we would call pressure water, then I would just leave it on the pressure side and the water would then flow into the motorhome. So the reason you do that is that that way you can close this and nobody can mess around with your service center. Work over here, we've got our winterizing bypass valve for winterizing the motorhome. And this is a nice little feature that we do on all Unity motorhomes. It's a pickup hose. You can use it for winterizing, so you can suck up RV antifreeze. So put it on over to winterize, turn on your pump, and then you can suck the antifreeze up in throughout the motorhome. Or if you're dry camping and you're out of fresh water and you go get a jug of water, you can suck this water into your fresh water tank. Okay, so what a fantastic utility center. Everything's very simple, easy to use. Anybody can do it. And with everything all in one spot, it's quick and fast. Okay, as we work our way down, this is your 30 amp shore power connection. So very simple, you would plug it in. If you have 30 amp shore power, you'd plug it in there. There's also an adapter if it's 15 amp and then you just plug it in here, lock this in place. You can see I got my blue light on, means I've got good power from here to here. We also have a surge protector on all Unity models, which protects the motorhome if it's bad power. Sometimes it can be bad power here. There's the old campgrounds overloaded with power. So you may have power here, but the surge protector stopping it from going into the motorhome and creating any damage on electronics. So always check the surge protector. If you're plugged in, blue lights on, but there's no power in the motorhome, good chance the surge protector is protecting your valuable electronics. We have our vents for our refrigerator. Make sure these stay nice and clean, nothing blocking them. Full fiberglass fender skirt underneath here. I don't know if you can see this or not, but we spray foam underneath all the wheel wells. Once again, to prevent stones and stuff from damaging the motorhome when you're driving down the road. Also keeps it quieter. And nice option here, Alcoa aluminum rims. We go with six aluminum rims. So inner and outer on the dualies on the back. Of course, two up front, so that's a total of six. And the Alcoa aluminum rims, you can check the inner and outer tire pressure. And it's got Durabrite finish on the outside aluminum rims, which gives it a beautiful, shiny look. As we work our way down, you can see our beautiful slider. You can't even tell that it's there. Looks like it's part of the wall awning style window. Let's show you how beautiful this slide out works. It's electric, worm gear operated, and it has four tracks, top, and bottom. You can see how beautiful the slide out comes out. It's built just like the motorhome, vacuum bonded walls, roof and floor, the beautiful curved wall, full body paint. We even paint the side walls three times as well and two coats of clear. Absolutely beautiful. I mentioned earlier, we have four different tracks. Track at the top, track at the top, track at the bottom, track at the bottom. That moves the slide out in nice and square every single time. I love how we build our slide out box. Super strong. You can see all the screws that hold the slide out together. So we have three seals. We have our main bulb seal. We have a bulb seal and a sweeper seal. These squeeze together and the sweeper seal kind of sweeps the uh, any water from going into the motorhome and it seals nice and tight. And I really love this feature on the FX. When the slide out comes out, so do the storage bins. That is so nice. You don't have to go underneath the slide out to get to the storage bins. Both sides, nice deep storage bins. We always include the three inch sewer hose, even if you order the optional macerator pump, easy access at its own little place right here. So everything's very convenient. But this is a nice feature to have. I don't have to go underneath the slide out to get to the storage. The storage came to me. Okay, let's keep working our way down. You can see how beautiful the slide out seals into the main body. We have our integrated sides here, all done with fiberglass, insulated. 
tie into the chassis itself. Another little hot light for entrance in and out. And then here's our diesel fuel. So Mercedes-Benz runs a clean running diesel engine. And this is where you fill it. And the nice thing about this is uh, I can fill it up, have the door closed so I don't get any diesel fumes into the motorhome. And then when it's filled and I close it, now it's locked. Nobody can tamper with your diesel. We have our beautiful integrated fiberglass step for getting in and out of the motorhome. We're working our way to the front of the motorhome. You can see how beautiful it looks. Our full fiberglass rear mask up here. Once again, all insulated as well. You can see how aerodynamic the motorhome is. You can see the slight curve in the walls, integrated molded fiberglass at the top. Easy access here for cleaning your window up top here. And you can see the little triangle pyramid up there. Keep that nice and clean because that's all my safety features on the Mercedes-Benz. And some other great safety features that we have, we've got fog lamps, plus we have the brand new LED high performance headlamps, including auto high beam assist, auto rain sensor on the windshield wipers, which is very important. And we have airbags in the seats and in the dash area. Well, we've had a great look at the inside and the beautiful outside on the 2022 Unity FX. One beautiful motorhome, big Murphy bed, second living area in the back. It's small, it's compact. You got a TV back there, you've got a TV up front, the expandable dry bathroom. Hey, if you're looking for a small motorhome, it's got everything you could want. Small, compact, expandable. Go and check out your local leisure travel van dealer and check out the Unity FX for 2022. And we wanna appreciate everybody for supporting our company, buying our products, watching our YouTube videos. Make sure you smash that bell and subscribe to our YouTube channel, we really appreciate it. It should be you using this Unity FX in the great outdoors of our great countries. Hey, Dean from Leisure Travel Vans, thank you. Catch you next time. configure your leisure travel van today. We have build in price. You can compare floor plans. You can pick colors of exterior, interior wood colors, leather colors. Plus you can pick all of the options and you can price it out and know exactly what you're getting in your leisure travel van.